interesting news regarding our uh, one Travis Scott. He's got a McDonald's collaboration, which is bizarre in my opinion. I don't really know what the deal is with that one. Um, it was announced, I guess, a couple of days ago um, that Travis Scott is collaborating with um, McDonald's. No details actually came out as to what the deal was, but you know, sooner rather than later, people got people kind of assumed it'd be some sort of you know um, custom meal that he put together in the same shape that Migos did with uh, Popeyes back in the day. Oh no, maybe a few years ago. Was it a year ago? Maybe. Maybe it was a year ago when the chicken burger came out. They did, they did a little thing. Um, odd one. I guess in terms of Travis, Travis is probably a weird rapper in that regard where he's probably the only one of his kind of age group or class that's extremely marketable, right? He's very brand friendly because he hardly speaks. Um, so there's, there's, uh, he's unlikely to cancel himself. Obviously, he's got the Kanye connection. Um, he's also got the weekend connection. He's also just got the kids connection, right? He's got the youth in his hands for the most part. Seeing him perform at O2 kind of gave me that um, realization of just how big of a fan base someone like Travis Scott has. Like when you go see someone play at O2, I saw Future play there, packed out the arena. You see Travis Scott play there, packed it out. Um, Drake play there, packed it out. And you see the people that, you know, you're around and you're like, wow, this is what a fan base looks like because. I'd imagine a lot of the bigger acts, especially in the US, they could easily sell out, you know, 5,000 place arenas, right? Quite simply. But traveling abroad to a place like England and selling out the O2, uh, multiple dates and having a really diverse fan base really shows your star quality and your kind of uh, pull, f- puller, you know? Yeah, you're poor in terms of being able to put bums in seats. So if you're a brand like McDonald's and you kind of want to give yourself a bit of a pep, especially during COVID, maybe people have, you know, I don't know, stop eating um, burgers and chips because they want to get healthy or you're just seeing a drop in sales and you just want to remind people that you're still alive, the best place to do it is to kind of link up with something like a Travis Scott. Now, the only issue I have with it is that, you know, he's a pretty slim, skinny dude. I don't really see him kind of, I don't know, he, what he's, what's he known for? Eating like Dunkin' Donuts? I'm not too sure i don't follow him that much on social but i don't get the impression that he's a mcdonald's guy through and through maybe he is because he smokes a lot so that could be a thing right you get the munchies you go out and get mcdonald's but he just doesn't strike me as somebody that would make sense to have a mcdonald's documentary uh, sorry collaboration merely based on how how he carries himself now again i don't know maybe on his socials you could just you know be always posting mcdonald's and i'm completely out the blue off the kind of cuff here but from my impression of travis i don't get the idea that he's a solid or he's like a you know a McDonald's aficionado, right? If this was fucking DJ Academics or something, right? Or I don't know somebody else a little bit more rotund, this will make more sense. Or just somebody that you always saw, you know, even Kanye, right? This will make more sense than a Travis Scott because you've seen that legendary picture of Kanye getting McDonald's and his Lamborghini, right? Or just rapping about it in general, mentioning it a few times here and there. But hey, maybe you know, maybe they did try to reach out to a Kanye and he just kind of rejected the advances. But I don't really see the point in it. But I, you know, what do I know? And then somebody. I guess here uh, broke down the ingredients that go into the Travis Scott um, burger. We have here a couple of cheese slices um, on the other on either side of a burger patty, which is interesting. um, That you get the yeah, it's interesting that you get the slice of cheese on the top of the burger buns. That means that the top of the oh no, it's actually the wrong way around. What am I talking about? The hill is a bottom bit, right? So, yeah, because I was going to say it's really strange that you'd get the cheese to be at the top. It really should be at the bottom. But anyway, I digress. Three strips of bacon, shredded lettuce, uh, pickles, onions, tomato, and then mustard. Um, so, what? Just a, a bacon cheeseburger, it seems like, right? With shredded with basically pickles are included because I don't think you get lettuce. No, you do get. Do you get lettuce in a cheese, in a bacon cheeseburger? You don't, do you? So, maybe the lettuce, the lettuce, um, and the pickles and the good is a kind of added addition and it's travis scott burger so i'm assuming that's the card that they give the staff members when they're putting a good burger together there in uh bloody mcdonald's but again i don't know man weird one again i get it because he's brand friendly but strange collaboration and maybe another indication as to another example as to why some artists shouldn't just take collaborations for the sake of it i know they're gonna pay but sometimes it does oddly enough cheap in your brand in the long term that you just you know would rock but so i guess mcdonald's isn't some any brand in it it's an american institution it's a world institution so maybe that has sense but i don't know i don't necessarily think it's a good idea i think for something like a travis it kind of cheapens his brand somewhat this just my 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 opinion again i'm a fan of mcdonald's i eat the fuck out of it i don't mind it but i just think for somebody like a travis scott should you really be kind of lending your name to a mcdonald's it doesn't it you know 
I guess it's just it doesn't really matter because it's you know it doesn't look like the box is even branded. It's just a Travis Scott burger that's put on the menu. Maybe it's just a bit of fun. It's not that big of a deal. Unfortunately, it's only going to be available in the states, not in the UK. But you know, I can't ima ever imagine myself rocking up to McDonald's, purposely going to order a, a fucking Travis Scott burger so I can eat it on YouTube and do an unboxing. That's that, that that's a major R word in it. So not really something that I'm down with in that regards. But hey, what do I know? What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think it's corny? Would you get it if you? Were able to get it let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are